All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Rodrigo here, Breakfast Club CTG. We back in this beat. Today, we're gonna be comparing the Rogue four inch nylon lifting belt against the Rogue five inch nylon lifting belt. Let's go ahead and get straight into this, guys. Okay guys, so what drew my attention to making this video was the fact that I didn't find any other video out there and I didn't know what belt to buy. I have the four inch already, but the size is just a little too big. So if any of you guys are looking for a lifting belt for like 10, 15 bucks, hit me up, it's a size large. Anyways, I had the four inch nylon lifting belt. It was a little too big. It would come undone during the middle of lifts, during workouts. It came undone during my six rep 315 max the other day. And honestly, I didn't want to redo the rep, so I just did it, my core strong enough. But it got me thinking, hey, I should probably have a belt that's reliable and that I can count on so I decided to start looking into getting a belt. Right off the bat, I knew I wanted a cloth-based belt because these are very versatile. They're super lightweight and you can just strap them on, strap them off, tighten them, loosen them, whatever it may be. Especially for functional fitness and CrossFit workouts, a lot of times when we're kind of lifting heavy, we need a belt, but also moving around and doing a cardio piece. So you kind of want to unstrap it so you can breathe. And these belts are perfect for that. Right off the bat, the four inch nylon belt does the job amazingly. I've used it in the past many, many times, different types of belts like the Harbinger, Tupood, et cetera. I've used a couple different brands. I've also used leather belts in the past, which are really amazing. They give you a lot of support. But whenever I started doing CrossFit, I started using these belts, the nylon belts, nylon cloth belts. And right off the bat, I must say they're amazing. If you don't have the right sizing, they will come undone. And it's super annoying because all that's holding them together is literally the Velcro. So if you don't have the right size, that might be an issue. So get the right sizing and you should be good. Anyways, I was in the market for a new belt and I knew right off the bat that I wanted a nylon cloth based belt like these because of the versatility and, and because they're so lightweight but also because they withstand quite heavy loads and they're super supportive so that's why I decided to go with the Rogue belt I knew it was quality I knew I was gonna get a good product but there's a few options out there and I didn't know whether to go with the five inch or the four inch what did I do I took to YouTube I'm kind of disappointed it kind of let me down no one made a video on it so I figured why not get the five inch belt I can make a video on it and then I can decide what belt I want to keep with the four inch or the five inch anyways I've tested out the five inch and I've tested out the four inch and I must say that I'm gonna be keeping the five inch, but it all just comes down to personal preference at the end of the day. First things first, the four inch belt, it gives you all the support that you need. Right off the bat, it has reinforced panels right on the back. On the back here, you got these reinforced panels right here that do give you some support. So you got, you got the strap here holding the Velcro and the hook in. And then right here, you got this Rogue plastic like 3D logo. Honestly, I don't really think it gives you much support. I don't think it adds support, but I mean, in the back, you got those reinforced pads right there. So it's more for looks, but I really like it. It looks cool. And then you got your Velcro, the sticky part, and then you got the cloth part here boom just like that boom 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 and honestly i'm gonna go over this because i feel like a lot of people that have never bought these belts or used these belts before probably don't know how to use them because we're all used to the leather belts that have like the hook in the hole you put the little hook through the hole and you're good to go a lot of people might have never used one of these before so i'm gonna go over how you do it basically you get your belt you go over your waist to like so tighten it fasten it whatever you need to do boom like this once you have it around your waist grab your velcro hook loop you stick it through the loop through your metal loop here and then from there you literally just grab it through there bring it around back and right here as you guys can see right there that is the velcro patch stick it on like so boom you're good to go and then from here it's super easy you can either keep it on fairly loose to kind of go off and do other things during your workout or kind of keep it on and not have to stick it on again and then once you're ready to hit a big lift you'll just pull it really tight to however your desired tightness is and you literally just strap it boom you're good to go hit your lift hit that pb hit that pr when you're done it just comes undone like that boom good to go it's super easy and effective guys and i absolutely love it now moving on to the five inch nylon belt why I was kind of iffy on which one to get was because in the past I have used a Nike training belt and those are five inch all the way around. They might be even bigger than the five inch honestly, but basically as you guys can see right here, this is the four inch going around here and then boom right here is where the five inch starts. So as you guys can see right here, this is where the four inch starts and then it kind of goes into the five inch, which is up here. As you guys can tell, you have a lot more support because of the four to, to the five inch right there right off the bat guys this already feels like it has way more support obviously it is a new belt but i feel like just the quality of this strap right here the velcro the leather is just super high quality and then just the actual belt itself is just feels just 
really, really reinforced and padded. Like I said, this is good to intermediate in terms of support. Like it's gonna give you quite a bit of support, especially for heavy lifts, but this is more of a versatile belt. So if you're a power lifter or an Olympic weightlifter, you might wanna look into maybe something like an Enzer belt, I believe, more of a leather classic pole and hook style, but this is more versatile belt. It'll still withstand those heavy loads, but it'll also give you that versatility, the breathing, and just the light weight of this to go ahead and do other lifts and other workouts. So this is right off the bat, super padded, like, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's super padded. And then as you get into the five inch section, that padding increases to the top here. And then it goes back to that sturdy, rugged padding there. And then this rogue patch right here, it almost feels like it's an added additional pad, just reinforcement. Now, when we look at the hook loop here, it's quality, high quality. When we look at the Velcro and the actual sticky adhesive part for the Velcro, this feels really good, sturdy, and heavy duty. Like this is like, feels like a heavy duty strap that's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna break on you or rip or anything. Now, when we undo this, you got that hook loop and this hook loop is attached to that strap, which is again, super high quality and it looks like it's a very durable material. Now, when we look at the back of this, you got that reinforced padding along here and then in the middle where that rope piece is, that's also reinforced and padded. But basically it's just cloth, nylon, as I said earlier, and this thing is gonna do its job. Again, if you're more of into CrossFit and functional fitness, your workouts probably get sweaty. These are perfect to wear without a shirt. They don't pinch, they don't get stuck on you or anything like that. Whereas like a leather or a lever belt might actually pinch you and they might kind of get stuck on you and it's gonna kind of be hard to move around your waist. Whereas these just kind of move, you just loosen them a little bit, move them. They're not gonna get in the way of anything. They're not gonna hurt you or pinch you. So these are just very versatile. If you're doing CrossFit and functional fitness, this is the way to go. In terms of the four inch to the five inch, it's gonna come down to personal preference. At the end of the day, what do you want more? I feel like this gives you a little bit more support because of the bigger five inch right here and this five inch covers my lower back perfectly so that little area in my lower back where I really want that extra reinforcement that's exactly what it covers as you guys can see when I twist it right here that's all gonna be covering my waist and that's gonna be covering like my abdominal region whereas this little back piece you just put it like right around your low back and it's perfect that's exactly where we want that support while also not losing any support up front at the abdominals, because a lot of times these belts do come undone, and I feel like this will be nice and secure at those abdominals. Again, I was making a comparison to one of the Nike training belts. Those are really big up here, like in the lower back region, almost a little too big, but again, it's for, for personal preference and what style lifting you're doing. This kind of has that. This is kind of the in-between of the four inch nylon belt and those bigger uh, cloth nylon based Nike belts that are a little bit more supportive. So this is perfect to kind of get the best of both worlds without sacrificing any of the support, any of the versatility and the lightweightness of this. All right guys, so just for the sake of this video, I wanted to show you guys how to put this on. If you guys are more of a visual person like me, I'm gonna show you guys how to strap this thing on. So you just grab your belt, throw it around your waist, boom, grab it, grab your strap, stick it through the loop. And I know this might be like, whoa, that's that's easy. Like believe it or not, a lot of people don't really know how to do this. Stick it through the loop like so, boom. You kind of just pull it up until it's like up against your stomach and the adhesive, you stick it on the Velcro part, boom, good to go. As you guys can tell here, there's a lot of gap here. This is where I would want it if I'm gonna go do another cardio piece or some sort of moving, breathing piece like that. If I'm gonna hit a lift though, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready. I'm just gonna undo it real quick. Boom, I'm good to go, I'm supported. I'm good to go hit a heavy lift or whatever it may be. I get done, undo it like that. Literally like the power of like just your abs and undoing this will loosen it. Boom, and then I'm gonna go off, do my cardio. I'm nice and loose, it's not in the way. I can actually breathe. Oh, we're back to the heavy part. Boom, hit the lift, boom. Good to go, good to move again. Guys, I absolutely love these belts. Again, for the versatility of them, for how supportive they are and how lightweight they are. If you guys are looking for a belt to get and you guys kind of do similar training to what I do, I highly recommend you guys look into the Rogue Nylon Lifting Belt. If you guys do more of the power lifting side, look for more of like a leather belt or an Enzer belt. These will never hurt to have in your garage hit or just to have in your gym bag because they're lightweight, they're super versatile. It's not gonna feel like you're carrying a huge belt around with you. So I highly recommend you picking one of these up anyways they're only about 20 to 25 dollars the price difference between the two guys is a dollar i kid you not the four inch nylon belt is 20 dollars maybe 19.99 five inch nylon lifting belt is 21 dollars and honestly it's a no-brainer if you had to pick one i would just really think of hey do i want that extra support or if you've used the four inch before and you're kind of looking to get your own belt which one do you absolutely love it if not are you willing to try out a five inch a little bit bigger bigger of a belt either way whatever belt you go with they're both going to give you that security they're going to give you that 
that versatility and just the lightweight of having a nylon cloth belt. Also, another thing I forgot to mention is we get hot and sweaty all the time, right? If I wear it without a shirt, if I sweat on it, is it gonna stink? Is it gonna smell? Honestly, guys, I've tested this through days of hot summer workouts, just super sweaty having the belt on it, as you guys have seen on my channel. All those past workouts where I'm just drenched in sweat and I have the belt on, and I honestly was always worried. I'm like, is my belt gonna stink or this and that? It's made of a material where the bacteria isn't gonna stick to it, and it's really not gonna smell. And I can smell this right now without being grossed out on camera, no cap. Nope, didn't smell. Honestly, it smells just like a normal belt to me. But that's another great thing about these belts is that they're not gonna hold in any bacteria, odors, anything like that. It's gonna stay clean. Obviously, take the proper sanitary requirements to do so. I don't know if I'd machine wash this. I would more hand wash this belt if you guys absolutely need to wash it. I don't personally think you'd ever need to do it, but maybe after a few years, maybe a year or two of just hot sweatiness, just go ahead, dunk it in hot water, leave it overnight, and then the next day kind of scrub it down and you're good to go. I would just air dry it as well. But it's something you guys aren't really gonna have to worry about if you guys are gonna have to go with one belt I personally am gonna say the five inch is what I'm gonna go with because of the extra padding because of the extra security that I feel and just quality of it guys obviously this is a quality belt too but the one I'm gonna be going with is the five inch nylon belt so anyways I hope this video helped you guys out as much as it did me honestly it helped me out a lot just by comparing the two because now I know what belt I'm gonna keep and whenever I was in the market for a belt I really couldn't find any resources comparing the two or talking about the two belts man so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far I hope you guys have found it helpful. If you guys are new here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. At least two new videos every week, guys. You guys don't want to miss it. Functional fitness workouts, CrossFit workouts, recipes, full days of eating, etc. Guys, come along for the journey, guys. The Breakfast Club, we're going strong, guys. Go over to Instagram, follow me there, shots underscore G. Comment Breakfast Club or DM me. Let me know you guys came from here. As always, Breakfast Club CTG. We at this beat.